Well, as we reopen the country, the Health Care Management Group, which has seven nursing homes and assisted living facilities in the tri-state, is making a big effort to limit the spread of the virus among its residents. As medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, from COVID-only units to testing all staff, the goal is to protect the most vulnerable. After weeks of celebrating those who have recovered from the COVID-19 coronavirus, some of the residents at this Ohio assisted living and nursing home facility say they have never been more grateful to the heroes that wear scrubs. Do you feel like they've become your family in yes. the last few weeks? Yes, definitely. How so? Well, because I'm with them more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nurses tell us they have welcomed this new role where they hold hands, give hugs, whatever's needed. While residents can't see their own family members, it's all in hopes of preventing the spread of COVID-19. So we do a lot of face-to-face um, -face calls. We got some family members that'll come out to the um, residence windows and we'll take them for they can look after them, wave. But now the team here says they are ready for the next phase of coronavirus management, opening back up to family without spreading the virus. They all admit that they have learned a few things along the way, and because of that now, there are some very specific steps that they are using to keep our loved ones safe. They also know that many of us might not understand the reasons behind them, but they do know they make a difference. First up, designating COVID-only facilities. That are specifically taking COVID positive patients. They have the general plant, we would say, for it. They have a separate entrance, they have a separate building, a separate location. They're able to isolate those patients to that particular area. For those already inside suspected of the virus, there's a quarantine unit. Which means that we are unsure if they've had an exposure or not, but they would come into the building. We would observe them for the 14 days, as outlined by the CDC. The National Guard has been assisting with testing as well, mainly of those providing care. So the National Guard is testing staff, not patients? Y yes. The good news? What we're finding is less than about 1% of team members are testing positive. So just like we're seeing in the community, we're seeing the same in the nursing facilities. The goal is to keep these protocols in place until there is a vaccine and to keep the gratitude in place as well until the staff knows for sure. It's the whole combination of all of them together. Oh. They they make a very good team and they treat us very well. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting. Healthcare providers do report positive coronavirus numbers in most states, but there's some inconsistency with how those are totaled and shared on health department's website. So if you have questions about the numbers where someone you love is a resident, you probably need to separately call that facility.